camera on so it's not scary now with the light okay? Turn the light off now, right? No! Okay, I'll put it on. Back on, turn it back on. Thanks, Daddy. Be careful, it's fine. Where's that big cat thing? Oh, it's locked up. Oh! Hello.
may not say it. Oh no, it's a great job. Oh. There you go. Ostrich, are you here? What? I don't know, what is this? just with our coat? Blue giraffe? Oh, they're big, aren't they? It's going all the way up. Oh, up there. Can you up there, she is. <laughs> Emily. Emily. Over here. I see you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Got up even higher? Okay. Look at this Oh! One no more less here. Well, after, I like it after the next point. as you can, Christina. Oh, oh, good save. Turn it hard as you can, Christina. Just do you have Emily a wee shot now? Time's running out. Nice. 
Run out of time. Whoops. Unless you're that was unless you're that was dangerous. Are you running out of time? Twenty seconds left. Say now, keep going, keep going. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Let's see. Let's go. You dry, you went oh you're soaked. Absolutely soaked. I see. Because they were dry before you turned up and then you say on you go. Right, Christina. Whoa. That's a big rhino. Alessia, can you remember what he said about them? Did anybody listen? I was listening, you just didn't So they stay with their parents See, at least mummy paid attention. So they're both exactly the same. So one's from Salt Jump, they're from the Safari Park. Like, 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 I saw what you see. Oh, he's got up. It's a red panda. It's a red panda. I bet he's going up even higher. He's going up really high. Wonder if he, oh, I don't know if that branch can take your weight, mate. Emily! <laughs> okay. I know. I wish he was on it. side to side, creating little wave patterns in the water. Those whiskers can detect these wave patterns if they follow them in the right direction. 
it leads them to that fish. So sea lions and seals can actually survive in the wild if they go blind. Good balancing there, Merlin. You held that for ages. Two, one. Wow, that was a good one. A really good one. Best somersault I've seen in a while. Well done. Merlin, that was fantastic. I think on that note, we're getting to give you a little wave goodbye. And he's going to go and relax for a minute or two. Give him a clap as he leaves the stage. Well done, Merlin. Seven. He's retired from the shows and he's suffering from a bit of an eye infection today. So feeling a bit under the weather. And he's a very old boy now. Marvin, though, very fit and healthy for his age. And uh, he thinks he's the star of the show, don't you? Yeah, he does. <laughs> and he can't really argue with him. He's very, very smart indeed. Just like Merlin, when he first arrived here, he was taught to open his mouth. Before they're trained to wave or clap or balance the ball, they're all trained to do that. So checking the teeth, it's not just easy for us, it's easy for the vet, very important. If they're not trained at all, you've got to somehow prise their jaws apart so the vet can check the teeth. That's stressful for the animal. You're gonna get bitten if you're not careful, so just train them to do that, it's a lot easier. Uh, he's also trained to blow his nose, blow. That's rubbish. Yeah, that's better. And he also sticks his tongue out. No reason to train a sea lion to do this, but it looks funny, and he finds it very amusing. Well, smile, there's his tongue. <laughs> you love doing that, don't you? Now, he's good at impressions. Yeah, he can do a very good impression of the sea lion's main predator. Now, we mentioned killer whales. They feed on sea lions like this if they can catch them, but this is his impression of their main predator. When he comes to the surface, look at his flipper. I'll give you a clue, it's a fish. A big fish. Some might say a scary fish. What is it, kids? Shout it out. Shark! Yes, it is, you're right. Now, we have to be a bit more clear about this. Most sharks are harmless. Most sharks don't eat sea lions and they don't eat surfers, that's the thing. But there are three that do. Tiger sharks, bull sharks and great white sharks all feed on California sea lions. So they have to be alert whenever they venture into the ocean. Sharks and killer whales are the reason they spend most of their time on land in the wild. People often assume they have to be in water or they have to be wet. That's not the case. It does them no harm at all to dry out. And what would you do, Marvin, if you spotted a shark or a killer whale? Leg it, yes, of course, that's the closest he's ever going to get to a shark, so he doesn't have to worry here. But a good impression. Very good, Marvin. Now, you may have noticed the tower at the side of the pool. This was built several years ago for the sea lions to dive from. Our little sea lion, Matteo, who was on stage in the last show at 12 o'clock, won't even cross the bridge. Merlin will climb right to the very top. It's taken us about 10 years to train him to do it. But he gets to the top, looks in the pool, bottles it, and walks back down again. <laughs> Marvin will dive in. So I'm hoping when I ask him to, he will climb right to the top of the tower. And when he gets to the top, I'd like you all to join in with a countdown from three to one and a big cheer if he makes the dive. Are you ready, Marvin? He's at the very top. Let's give him a countdown. Three, two, one, jump! Lovely dive. Now, Marvin is the expert at balancing. He finds balancing a basketball on his nose just too easy. So we experimented with him, balancing different objects. Uh, he picked up the ball balance a lot faster than Merlin, and uh, he learned to do it very quickly. So we got this, it's tuna fish. Not a real one or an eating, but this is much harder to balance because of the shape of the object, and especially on a breezy day like this, it is very, very hard to balance because it's only touching a few of those whiskers. He's not watching the fish, he's using his whiskers to feel which way it's moving. And with the breeze blowing, that's pretty impressive, Marvin. Give yourself a big clap, good boy. Yeah. Well, that's nothing because He's learned to balance a 10-pin bowling skittle on his nose. Now, people always ask me, how long does it take to train a sea lion? Uh, that question is one you can't answer because they're all different. No two are the same. They all have different skills, different abilities. They all learn at different speeds. Some of them never learn to balance. Our big sea lion, Clive, has been practicing balancing a ball for over 20 years, and he can't do it. But we don't care because it's kept him occupied trying. He certainly can't do this. Marvin takes it to a whole new level. 
he's learned to walk around and balance. And when you've got to move and balance at the same time, there's a lot more to think about, a lot more to concentrate on. And he's the only sea lion here at Flamingo Land that's ever learned to do that. He can dive in the pool and drop it in. And there's no trick that he involved. Wow. He's got a lot of practice. Go on, do it again. Yeah. It's not a circus trick, it's not a magic trick, it's not a trick at all. It is a talent, it is a skill, and Marvin, you've perfected it, man. That was amazing. Well done. Now, in just a minute at the end of the show, Merlin's going to be back out here swimming around in the main pool, but Marvin is going to be posing for pictures. If you want a photo with Marvin, you've got to buy a poster first. The posters are £5 each, they fe feature all the sea lions here. And uh, anyone that buys a poster can stand in front of him, take some photos. You've got to take your own photos, but if you've got your phones or your cameras with you, it's a great photo opportunity. It's five pounds per person, but everybody gets a poster, and all the proceeds contribute to the Sea Lions here. So every poster we sell, all the money goes back to the Sea Lions, contributing to their everyday care and those never-ending fish bills, which have racked up at an alarming rate throughout the lockdowns with nobody coming in. So we appreciate anyone that buys a poster on the way out. And you can get those if you head out through that gate at the right-hand side of the pool. And he even sticks his tongue out for your pictures, don't you, Marvin? Yeah, like that. All right. Now, he's got one thing left to do. He's going to attempt the ball jump. He's aiming for that pink ball right up there. He's got to launch his entire body out of the water using his front flippers. He's got to touch the ball with his nose or at least get a whisker to him. Now, sometimes he misses. And when he misses, he sulks for the rest of the day. Don't you? Yeah. So, if he misses, I want you to just give him a clap and try it. He's only going to attempt this once. If he touches the ball, if he gets a whisker to it, I want a big, big cheer. Are you ready, Marvin, for another countdown from three to one? Join in. Three, two, one. Here he comes like a rocket. And he got it just. Marvin, you've been a superstar. Well done, man. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And that just leaves me to say thank you all so much for coming. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope you all have a great time at Flamingo Land. From Marvin, Merlin and me, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye for now. Thank you all. See you later. Well done, Marvin. Emily. Oh, yeah, anybody. Say, say cheese. Bye. Bye. Sting your tongue out. <laughs> thank you. Good boy, thank you. Give them food. Oh, like a baby. Where? She is looking for his food. Little baby tiger. Where? That one right there. Where? That's a baby. If you look at it. Okay. Babies are like little tiny puppies. Is that now? Yeah. He's all the way on the other side. <laughs> oh, look at that. Go up to the window here. Next to <laughs> Stand side by side, girl. Hello, see you, babe.
Aye, Wow. Ooh, Emily. <laughs> thinks you're on. Is, is, thinks you're the breakfast. Uh -huh. It must be hungry, yeah, Jordan. Tail's black and white. Tail's black and white, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Nah, no, I'd love a cat. I'd love a cat like that. Stand up, stand up. Stand up and then turn round. Quick, 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 quick. Daddy, get in and get a picture with the seat behind. Right, duck down a wee tiny bit. No, that's fine, that's fine. Look, stand up, stand up. You're okay. That was Mummy's fault. Look at Daddy, Emma, look at Daddy. Look up at the phone, look at the phone. See, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You're just like a big pussy cat, aren't you? So so what yeah. oh, would you take a place of it? What would you give you kisses? Hey, MZ. Come down. Say bye, kitty cat. Bye. 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 I'm trying to grab this wee one. Right there. Bye bye. Christina, Emily. Emily, Christina. It's okay, it's just a fly. Oh, it's a boss. <laughs> Try to get it, Daddy. Oh, no. oh, there's more. One up here. This way, Emily. Yeah, come on this way, though, Emily. We're going to go this way. More ribbons. He's eating. Hiya. Hello. Hiya. Hiya. I can see in your ear. The funny ears. What? To make a noise? Yeah. Emily, don't go too far. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I look scared, sad, or tired. Bye bye. <gasps> bye bye. Hello. Hello. Like it's beatboxing. Hi. <laughs> 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 oh, there's the wallabies. Oh, right. Now that's a big wallaby. <laughs> it's a big wallaby. <laughs> 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 
Oh, well, is that what they are? Stinkers, because they produce. Ooh. Just keep going. Now that's a big kangaroo. That's a lazy kangaroo or wallaby, I'm not sure. Stop, Emily. This one's for Pauline. Pauline is like that. There's flamingos here. No, no, no. There? Are they like some sort of hogs? Maybe if you go in right there. That left chap. I don't know, over there. They're on the they're down the bottom. Maybe there. Hello. Psst, 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 psst. Yeah, yeah. Tap tip here. That's a beautiful wee spot, this, isn't it? Hey, uh, top here, tip here. Oh no, that's a capybara. Oh, a capybara. The tapirs are the ones that look like anchor. Did you know that capybara translate as master of the grass? I told you they're just like big rodents. Seeing it in the side We've met we've met your cousins in Dai Duns. They're from Peru. Oh, wait, so that's a llama, not a llama? I don't know if that's what a llama looks like. What? Yep, see, they live up in Chile, Bolivia and Peru, that's where the, the women had hers and duns. Well, okay. Coburn's path. No. <laughs> oh, she got off. Call you Taylor. Hello. Hiya. Hello.
you're gonna need a rehouse. There you go on. You're gonna go on, you stay in it. Make up your mind. You're gonna. Uh, it goes like that on the side and then it goes like this bun. Can you wiggle your bun? Emily, don't stand up that. Can you wiggle your bun? Like a penguin. It goes like that and wiggle your bun. You're shaking your bum. They're all the way back in their house. Hey, a penny. You gotta jump in, you gotta jump in, you gotta jump in. You gotta do it, jump, 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 jump. That's we one down the end, yeah. Just walk to your left, oh, Emma. Christina, take a step to the side. See that one down in the bottom? Just go jump, just go jump, just go jump. Do it, do it. Jump, jump, jump. Jump. Jump, jump, jump. We're all watching you. Three, two, one, jump. Yay. That is beautiful plumage. That's what we call it. Plumage, I think that's what you call the feathery bit. Could be wrong though. Okay. George, so that you can get, I'll take a wee video. Right, and then I'll take a picture. Looking out the window, spying some Oh, I see something. So he's been with us for most of his life, mm -hmm. and he has produced 12 cars. Wow. So he is very well represented with his bloodline, mm -hmm. and some of those cars have gone on to breed themselves. Um, so yeah, he is very well represented mm -hmm. in the system. So Dottie and Lizzie are his daughters. No, no. So Lizzie and Miley are the breeding females. Lizzie and Miley are breeding females. Are breeding females. And okay. Then Savannah. Savannah Dottie and Dottie. And Sophie. And Sophie as well. Oh, so, right. So it's the. Do you remember? I've got that on video now, so hopefully we'll not forget. So Savannah, Savannah, Dottie, and Sophie. Hopefully, by that Miley. Oh, there's Miley. Um, so, so where did George come from originally? Woven Safari Park. Woven Safari Park. Woven. Woven. Yeah, that's it. Woven Safari Oh, wow. She's big, isn't she? So, she, she's the one that's 15, is that right? No. He's 15. No, he's 15, she's 12. Oh, is it? And Lizzie's 12. And Lizzie's 12 as well. <laughs> he's looking as if to say, where's all mine? All done. <laughs> wow, look at that. the daughters were born here. Mm -hmm. Miley and Lizzie were both born in Europe and then just travelled here and ended up here. And then Georgia just born Wow, look at that tongue. 
I think you've got it all, George. <laughs> How do, do you do like dental care and stuff like that or no? Do you just no, naturally? Yeah, we'd leave them as, be, as much as possible. Mm -hmm. If there is anything, we will mm -hmm. do veterinary procedures or whatnot. Um, dentistry wise, so we've actually had some stuff in the past with Miley. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've ended up training her um, rather than having to do a knockdown or sedation. Trained her where she will stand for an x ray. Right. And do the x ray and then from there look at, what look at what's going on. See if we can resolve it. Mm -hmm. We try and leave them alone as much as we possibly can. Yeah. Um, we don't want to be stepping in for every other thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dentistry, anything like that, we leave purely be. Same as, you know, with us, we, yeah. we're left alone unless there's really. Less is a problem. Yeah. That's the case with everything on Earth. Oh. <laughs> uh, Okay.